Welcome to Skyview, where we talk about drones, technology, and the science behind it. Today, we will attempt to answer one of the biggest misconceptions with drones in airspace. Specifically, who owns the airspace, and what are the laws that apply on a federal, state, and local level? Many local cities and private landowners claim you cannot fly over their property. They cite the most common reason as criminal trespassing. But, in reality, they are incorrect, and the answer is not necessarily an easy one. In this video we will dive into this complex situation, and hopefully clear up some confusion you might have, whether you are the pilot, or the landowner. You're watching Skyview TV. First and foremost, what is the federal law regarding all airspace in the United States? Federal law gives the US government exclusive control over all navigable airspace, through which the public has a right to travel. Federal law transcends state and local laws when it comes to the regulation of airspace. This law is commonly referred to as the Air Commerce Act, which was passed in 1926. This was landmark legislation at the time, and charged the Secretary of Commerce with fostering air commerce, enforcing air traffic rules, licensing pilots, certifying aircraft, establishing airways, and maintaining aids to air navigation. How do individual state and local police powers work? State and local officials traditionally have the authority to make laws that protect public health and safety, which is commonly referred to as police powers. When it comes to drones, state and local governments can generally enforce laws that prohibit criminal acts, such as trespass, invasion of privacy, harassment, or land use. Is it legal to fly drones over private property? With some exceptions, federal law doesn't restrict flying over another's property. However, drones pose two primary public health and safety concerns when flying over another's property which means state and local laws may come into play. One common assumption from private landowners is privacy. Drone cameras allow the operator to see where it's going, but these cameras may also see into home windows or backyards. But let's be honest, most consumer-level drones must be very close to the window to see anything. Some advanced models have digital and optical zoom capabilities, but distance is a mitigating factor. For someone hovering around 30 feet from the house, it will be very hard to focus on a particular area. To address these concerns, states and local governments have taken several steps, which include enacting criminal trespassing and invasion of privacy laws directed at drone use. Even if a state doesn't have drone-specific laws, their general trespassing and privacy laws may apply. These privacy laws are a legal gray area. They are referred to as reasonable expectation of privacy. Our take on a privacy situation is this. If your drone is loitering or hovering over a property, for anything longer than a few seconds, you may be invading someone's privacy. Flying over the property on your way to another destination isn't an invasion of their privacy, and there really isn't an argument to be made there. Also, remember the drone height we just mentioned. For example, let's assume you're trying to capture a landscape waterfront view. If you are 30 feet over someone's house, technically you could prove with flight log data that you are not taking pictures of their home. However, you could get a very similar composition from 50 or even 100 feet over the property. In our opinion, it's much easier to just avoid any potential issues right from the start and try to put yourself in that landowner's point of view. What would you think if you walked outside and a drone was hovering below 30 feet above your property? And if the pilot is nowhere to be seen, people tend to automatically assume the worst. To complicate this further, you can violate privacy laws, even if you don't fly over another's property. Flying a drone over your own property can still violate the law, if you knowingly focus the camera toward your neighbor's bedroom window, or hover at a vantage point, with the intent of stalking or harassing someone. Some states include these privacy-related violations in protection, or restraining orders, which can lead to additional charges. Quite a few states have addressed the use of drones in their privacy-related criminal laws, including as forms of harassment, stalking, invasion of privacy, voyeurism, and unlawful surveillance. Here, the laws focus on the defendant's intent. 
For instance, West Virginia makes it a misdemeanor to intentionally operate a drone, to harass someone, or to capture or view images that invade a person's reasonable expectation of privacy. What is criminal trespassing with a drone? Many states also prohibit the recreational operation of drones over certain public and private properties, including prisons, critical infrastructure areas, sporting events, concerts, or other large outdoor venues. Take for example, the city of Annapolis. The United States Naval Academy prohibits any flights over their entire facility, including the Navy Stadium, which is located a few miles from the Academy. In a similar vein, certain states now have laws making it a crime to fly a drone over an area where first responders are actively engaged. These situations might range from natural disasters and wildfires, to car accidents or crime scenes. These provisions can sometimes be found in trespass laws or obstruction laws. Delaware, for instance, makes knowing use of a drone, over any active first responder incident, an unclassified misdemeanor for a first offense. I constantly see a drone flying over my property. Can I shoot it down? Shooting down a drone, even one that is not legally over your property, could lead to some serious criminal charges. You might also be liable for the cost of replacing the damaged drone. But the act of discharging a gun into the sky is reckless in of itself. If that thought even crosses your mind, you are not a responsible gun owner. Federal law makes it a crime to shoot down an aircraft, and drones qualify as aircraft. Shooting down a drone also violates local ordinances prohibiting discharging of a firearm within city or municipality limits. You can be charged with state crimes as well, including reckless discharge of a firearm, disorderly conduct, or disturbing the peace. Police can also charge you with intentional destruction of property. Claiming defense of property would likely fail, as shooting at a drone isn't a reasonable and proportional response to the act of intrusion. And if you brandish the gun in any way against the operator, you could face assault charges. What's a better way to address the issue? Talk to the operator of the drone, and ask them kindly to fly around your property. Tell the operator that you plan to call the police if they continue to trespass. Remember, under most trespass laws, the alleged trespasser must be on notice of their offense and given the chance to leave before charges can be filed. If you're not comfortable speaking with the operator or you feel threatened, contact the police. We covered a lot of topics relating to airspace, ownership, and privacy rights in this episode. To summarize, federal law allows drones to fly over your property, whether or not you like it. That can change depending on how the drone is being used. Drones cannot fly in any restricted airspace, and we recommend using the apps, Open Sky, and Before You Fly, to check the area you intend to operate in first. Logging your flight, and getting an approval number with the FAA, is a great way to help in case of any potential complaints against you. The best way to handle these situations, is respecting the environment, and those who live within the area you intend to fly. If, for instance, you are a real estate photographer, and will be hovering over a neighbor's house for a certain shot, it may be best to head off any potential issues, by giving them a heads up on who you are, and what you are doing. Being reasonable and open goes a long way with most people. If you have made it this far into the video, we would like to thank you, for taking the time to watch. Hitting the like button, really helps out this channel and all comments are appreciated. Subscribe to be notified of future, how to drone episodes, and we will see you soon.